Trout Unlimited Canada and its members are working to protect sensitive brook trout populations and improve water quality on the Rocky Saugeen, located in Gray County, Ontario. Members of the Happy Trout Chapter and local landowners are getting wet and sometimes even a little muddy to help fix problems in this important tributary of the Saugeen River system. Increased sediment, increased temperature, and decreased flow have decreased water quality for the trout and inspired the chapter to combat this. Well, the local TU chapter in this uh, stream, which is the west arm of the Rocky Saugeen, is called the Happy Trout Chapter of Trout Unlimited. The reason that they're here is that we've got a bunch of uh, people here, and mostly landowners, who are concerned about the quality of their water and the quality of the cold water streams that flow into the Rocky Saugeen. They want to make this stream one of the healthiest streams that flows into the Rocky to help the water temperatures and improve the fishery for, uh, for trout and for people as well. People are making a difference here by helping to cool this stream down. Uh, this stream is, has potential high quality. It's got lots of groundwater coming in, but it's being overly warmed up. It's got a fever, so, so to speak, because of uh, old mill dams and old uh, beaver dams. What we're trying to do is narrow it, deepen it, make it faster flowing to improve water quality and make it better habitat for the animals. It's just like your heart. Your heart has large arteries and veins coming into it, but it's, it's the lifeblood of that system is its capillaries. And in any watershed, it's the headwaters that are, is the lifeblood of the system. We're trying to bring that cold lifeblood from the headwaters right down to the main stem of the main rivers to make sure the overall watershed is healthy. I think uh, we're making a difference, yeah. I, I enjoy it. I'm retired now and I've always been a nut about little trout streams and that sort of thing and I'm finding I'm really enjoying it. I enjoy the work. I enjoy the enthusiasm that people around Markdale that know about our work are showing and uh, you know we have people that can't work in the stream so they they brought us out a couple of dozen cans of coke and whatnot for refreshments you know they're doing they're doing their little bit even though they can't get in the stream so I get a tremendous amount of enjoyment out of that aspect of it. We're getting very muddy and very dirty and um, the silt on our property there was a 200 foot beaver dam across that probably was 15 years old and had five generations of beaver and then when they logged the property they left everything lying down so when you stepped into the river a year ago you were you would actually be sucked down up to your waist and you couldn't get out and now it's gravel bottom and you can swim in it you can drink it it's absolutely glorious so it's it's really rewarding it's fun it's kind of addictive when we moved up here and we thought okay what are our options we're going to move to Markdale and everybody said what's in Markdale and we said well we like the rural feel of it and we thought we'd be kind of hanging out with rural people and then we get involved in this and we're in the river with teachers and stockbrokers and fly fishermen and all kinds of people like so it's and it's all people that um up here it's a little bit different because you don't socialize just to socialize, you socialize to, to make a difference. Today was a good day. Today we were streamlining the uh, rocky saugeen on the west branch, um, removing debris and uh, really rolling ahead and getting rid of the silt and getting dirty and loving every minute of it. So a lot of people came out today, it was awesome. I think it gives you a sense of community, gives you um a local focus for, for helping improve our environment and you can come out and do some good work and uh, and the fishing tips are not bad too. Join Trout Limited Canada, what you're bringing is volunteerism and helping people with the same mind make a difference. If you can't come out, financial contributions stay within your community and help the local chapter complete projects like this.